All right, let's get right into it this morning. Waste no time at all. The weigh-in. 198.6. We're under 200. Uh, first of all, I am sorry that this video is a little late, guys. I've been working really hard and I've been hanging out with a friend and uh, just wanted to make sure I get in my Wednesday weigh-in weight loss video. If you missed yesterday's video, Jax went to the vet and he lost five pounds in a year. But for a cat, that's like huge. I will link the video up here and at the end of the video also. I mean, Jax lost about 18% of his total body weight, which is incredible and we're feeling really good about that. But 198.6, I am down under 200 pounds. <coughs> Yes, I still have a cough. This is ridiculous. Almost a month now. Uh, let's go through this. So we started at 209.8. The next week we were, I was at 209.2. Then 201.6. And this week, at the start of week four, or 22 days into this, 198.6, a net loss of 11.2 pounds. Yes! I feel fantastic. This is going to be a little shorter video because I just want to talk with you guys. I want to tell you how I'm feeling and some of the changes in my mind and about me that, that have happened. But first of all, a couple changes to my, my cooking. And that is that I went and got one of these fryers so that I can grill my chicken prep meals on the stove instead of baking them. It's working better. Chicken has more flavor. And secondly, I got... A vegetable steamer with a removable pan here so that I can do my broccoli or my carrots and not boil all of the nutrients out of them and it's working really well it tastes a lot better before we sit down and talk about how I feel I have been doing fantastic with my exercises uh, with with the body boss 2.0 doing the those four exercise activities and then doing my cardio I have noticed a couple things one is I'm able to do more reps than I was before I'm able to uh, I'm pulling the bands farther away. I'm putting them in different notches now to create more resistance on everything I'm doing. It's subtle, but it's enough to say that, wow, this was too much a couple weeks ago, and now I need to bump it up and get more resistance out of this. So that's really cool. And yeah, okay, let's save how I feel for later. I'm, I'm gonna warn you, I'm gonna take off my shirt, but I am really, really excited and proud and I think you're gonna see a difference. So again, I will pop a video up over here from January 31st, my very first weigh-in when I started this. And it's hard to look at myself. Um, so we'll just get rid of that now. Uh, check this out. Yes, I always wear a hat, guys. People ask me all the time. Now, yes, I still have a belly. But compared to what it was before, I'm starting to feel and develop new muscles that were not here before. So we're working on a bigger one pack, basically. Also, if I flex up, I don't know if you can see this back here. This is all new muscle. This was not here. So all around my sides and my, and my lower back and my stomach and my abdomen area, even though I've still got a beer belly a little bit, not nearly as big as it was before, but I am starting to see some new stuff going on with my body, and that is really exciting. I'm feeling much more limber, and like I said, when I'm doing my crunches and my ab workout, I'm actually able to do much more reps than I could before. So that's all of that I'm gonna show you, but I am feeling good. So some changes with my body, some changes in my endurance, which is a great you know, motivation tool. Any kind of uh, difference that I see really helps me continue it. You know, I'm like, wow, that's cool. The scale's getting lower. Wow, I'm starting to develop some muscles and lose some fat around my midsection. That's cool, let's keep this up. Those kinds of small victories are something that really helps me and helps a lot of people to be able to continue it on. Um, but, you, you know, my mentality on this whole 90 day challenge and, you know, th again, thank you, James Wanderlust Estate, for inviting me into this competition, uh, into this uh, competitive world uh, to be able to do this because I've, I've just struggled. I've not been able to get to this point. Uh, and I've certainly not uh, gone this far with anything before uh, when, I, when I've tried it on, on my own. But something changed this last week, and it, it really changed when I was at Wikiwachi State Park. 
uh, it was it was my cheat day, and I really didn't overdo it. In fact, for the entire day, I consumed less than a thousand calories. Uh, I didn't even drink a Coke that day, okay? I just had some chicken tenders and fries with a water, and then later that night, for dessert, I had an ice cream cone. Um, and I really, I mean, I, I didn't do pizza, I didn't drink a six-pack of beer, or anything. My cheat day was, was very, very minimal. And um, I, I felt... Throughout the day, I kept telling myself, you know, yeah, it's a cheat day, but I mean, you work so hard for six days, let's not ruin it on the seventh day. And that is what is changing right now in my life, is that this, what's going on here with eating healthy and removing all the sugar and wheat and high-carb stuff, this is no longer temporary for me. I mean, I'm still, you know, competing and trying to lose more weight than James in this 90-day period, but... This is now a complete lifestyle change for me. I'm no longer thinking in my mind, hey, April 1st, tater tots, pizza, back to big fatty burgers and it's delicious, you wouldn't like it and all that stuff. No, that's, that's, that's all gone from any feeling uh, inside me or, or my mind. I just don't want it anymore. In order for this to be sustainable and in order for me to keep the weight off and live a healthier life for years and years and years to come, it has to be a forever thing. There's just no way around it. I mean, sure, I needed the whole 90-day thing to be able to actually hold myself to it, you know, to keep myself in, in, in a strict guideline and, and compete in everything. But the, the truth of the matter is, and the realization I've come to is that these changes right now that I'm making, they need to be permanent. Okay, and I can't say that in any other better way than I just got back from the movie theater. I saw a, a double header, actually. I saw Doolittle in Dolby and followed right after that. I saw the 1917 document, not a documentary, movie in Dolby. I saw two movies and no popcorn, no soda. I got a big bottle of water and a packet of low carb cashew peanuts. Cashews? Is that how you say it? Yeah. And for only the second and third time here in uh, 2020, I sat in a theater and watched a movie without popcorn. And this time it worked really, really well. You know, I would just reach into the bag and grab a peanut, eat a peanut once every 30 seconds throughout the movie, and it worked. And it was fine. I, I actually did some research on the popcorn that's at AMC Theater. You know, the plastic refillable tub of popcorn that I was refilling for years at one movie? Yeah, one tub of unbuttered popcorn is 1,100 calories. And like 252 carbs. And I was getting refills sometimes. Once I realized that popcorn is just out of it, no more. I mean, I don't even want it anymore. I don't care about it. I smell it and I don't crave it. I know how bad it is and I know how bad it was in my life to, to have that habit of eating popcorn that I don't have any desire for popcorn anymore. And I'm okay knowing that for the rest of my life, I may never eat popcorn again. Well, I'm sure I will on a special occasion, but not on a regular basis, for sure. And so everything's kind of being switched out for something else that is sustainable long-term. There is no more short-term thinking. Everything is long-term because... I mean, I'm, I'm dropping pounds, I'm feeling better, I'm, you know, I'm not wheezing when I bend down to tie my shoes and all this, and I, I, let's just keep going. Let's just see how far I can go. I'm going to go more than 30 pounds. I can almost guarantee you that by uh, April 1st when this is done, I am going to lose over 30 pounds total in three months. I'm, I'm pretty determined, guys. I really am. In the meantime, I will continue to keep these updates going through uh, every Wednesday for Weight Loss Wednesday. I'll be checking out to see how uh, James is doing over there with his hiking and weight loss as well. But I mean, what you don't see, except for the little clips I show of my workouts with the Body Boss and my aerobics with the elliptical, is my passion and my determination to make this work. And, you know, it. I'll, I'll be honest with you, these are some battles that I have fought in the last few weeks. How many times have I sat here and, you know, ate, ate some chicken with some spinach or something, and then 15 minutes later, I'm actually on my phone looking to see if there's a Domino's that delivers. And of course I feel guilty just looking at the pizza. I'm like, are you kidding me, Eric? All that work for nothing? I mean, 
I have not had a, a really bad one yet, except for that one cheat day where I ate like 2,000 calories and, and got bad heartburn. Heartburn, that's the other thing. Now I've been treating chronic heartburn for over eight years now with uh, over-the-counter omeprazole, 20 milligrams. Guys, I don't have heartburn anymore. I'm not even kidding you. Not only do I not have heartburn anymore, but I've been getting my blood pressure checked and monitoring my blood pressures down and I no longer have heartburn. I no longer have to treat heartburn at all. I don't get heartburn. And, and I mean, I, when I first realized this and put this together that I had stopped actually taking the pills and that it just doesn't happen anymore. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, if, if that's all I got out of this and didn't lose a pound, isn't that worth just making that lifestyle change? So anyway, I don't want to bore you completely. I'm having fun hanging out with a friend here and I got to get back on the road. <coughs> I would love to stop coughing. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. I, I, I was warned that this could be three weeks. Now people are saying that it, bronchitis can actually last two months. I mean, geez, that's, that's, that's a lot of, that's a long time. I'm uh, water still drinking way over a gallon of water a day. That's almost empty, but I've also got uh, my little jugs in the fridge. I like cold water better than room temperature water, but I'm, when I'm working out, it's easier just to have the gallon of water over there. So, I guess that's pretty much my update. Sorry, no fun special effects with an angel or a devil this week, but I got lots going on. And it's still good news. Three more pounds, so yes! If you are shadowing James and I on this weight loss challenge, I hope everything's going well. Please remind me and let me know in the comments below how your success is going this first month, because as we continue to almost wrap up the first month, in fact, start a week four. I'm excited, okay? So... I will see you again for another Weight Loss Wednesday next week. Bye, guys.